this. And by virtue of the fact that we now have a new DPP, could this be good news for Kenya? However, there's also the question of institutions that uh, sometimes frustrate those who would want to do good. But because of uh, the mechanism of the institutions that we have, sometimes you find that uh, they get bottlenecks. Well, I do appreciate. Remember, last week we said that we were going to pray for the president, mm. and I think our prayers have been answered. They were answered actually on Monday, immediately after the Sunday prayers. Uh, what I see is that the president is making an effort to try to rid corruption of his government because that was the legacy he was going to be left with. But we also have to be careful such that we allow the institutions to work so that we don't start lynching people mm -hmm. and uh, almost taking uh, like 54 cases. We hope the 54 cases, once they are taken to the full extent of the law, mm -hmm. there will be uh, substantial convictions and of course after convictions, recovery of property that might have been gotten out of this uh, illicit money. Mm. That is the way I see it. And uh, as a country, we must lay a foundation that will be respected even by those who come after us. Okay. Honorable Ch Cherarge, Jubilee Party, if uh, this doesn't uh, see light of day in terms of convictions and action taken, will definitely have gone down as one of the parties that uh, there was massive, huge corruption. Do you think this is finally the president saying that, look, I have a legacy to protect, I really don't have any sacred cows? He said that previously, but we've not seen action. Could this be now the action that we've been waiting for? I think uh, I want to, to say as a parliamentarian and as a member of Jubilee that uh, the president's uh, and the presidents will crack the whip to, to ensure that those people who have either in one way or another participated in corruption. And I think I want to agree with what my colleagues have said is that uh, let us allow the institutions to work so that when it reaches the court of law, these uh, investigations and even prosecutions uh, will come to the full, uh, will, will have some convictions. Because also if we participate in public lynching and also if we've, we put a lot of uh, pressure and politicize, at the end of the day, some of the files that will go to DPP might not have, uh, might not be watertight. Side that some of these aspects will be uh, let off the hook. And I am happy that uh, they say, there is an, a saying that says, new broom sweep clean. And therefore, with a new DPP, new DCI, and uh, many new faces in terms of ensuring that the prosecutions are there, uh, we are happy that this is finally. And I think also we, we, we want all these corruption cases from NYS, from NCPP issues, from the Youth Fund, and anywhere. Because the presidency, and the president, specifically uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, needs to protect his legacy, as we have said. And also, if we don't take care, this corruption will also hinder or amber the implementation of the big four. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about universal health care, when you talk about uh, uh, issues of food security, now that farmers are not comfortable in the North Rift and uh, other parts of this country where corruption is now uh, seriously even infringing into the production of food, therefore it threatens the implementation of the big four of the president. Okay. So I want to agree that uh, this thing should be concluded and I hope uh, the, 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 the necessary organs as, as uh, as uh, my brother professor said, is that they need to move with speed and ensure some of these cases are watertight so that we can have some convictions. All right, Honorable 